Editing a piece of music after it's been scanned and recognized is different than creating a score from scratch where you enter symbols one at a time. We designed SmartScore as editor to take advantage of this fact. Most recognized music will need cleanup. Hopefully, not too much. Here are some useful tools that will reduce the time spent cleaning up scores. This il illustration shows the basic left-hand position on your keyboard for editing in SmartScore. The index finger activates Insert Mode, the C key. The middle finger activates Delete Mode, the X key. The Z key activates the cluster tool where we can add or delete one or more note heads from a cluster of notes belonging to a single stem. Quick Select lets us select any symbol with our cursor by clicking on it while holding the control button down with your small finger. Nearby keys such as DNS perform other useful functions, as we will see. First, we look for measures highlighted in pink. These are measures where beat values of notes and rest do not equal the numbers of beats in the time signature. Compare the white smart score pane with the yellow scanned image. In measure 9, we see the first note ought to be a quarter note, not a half note. We hold the control button down with the small finger and click on any quarter note nearby. The cursor becomes a quarter note. We hover over the half note until it turns yellow and click. The measure is still pink. There's a dot missing in the third beat. We hit the D key and click the third note. And voila. Let's turn back to the organ part in the first measure. Recognition was perfect, so why is the measure pink? It's because the whole rest in the top voice is not aligned with the half note in the secondary voice. We quick select the whole note while holding the control button down. Hit the X key and click it to delete it. Hit the C key to activate insert mode, then vertically align the cursor above the first half note and click. Notice the half note becomes red. This shows that they now belong to the secondary voice. Now all voices equal four beats per measure. Hold the shift button down and you're in nudge mode. Every little yellow square is a handle that can be used to change note pitch. Or to move symbols around. Notice how each lyric symbol is linked to a note or rest. To edit lyrics, push the L icon in the lower toolbar, then click on the note associated with the first syllable you want to edit. Use your keyboard just like a word processor to backspace, remove, and type in your changes. Hit the tab button to jump to the next syllable. Moving the lyric alignment handle in the left margin lets you move each lyric line up or down to refine its alignment. Editing text is similar to editing lyrics. Push the T icon in the lower toolbar then click inside a text field and edit exactly as you would with a word processor. As with lyrics, hit the T key to exit text mode. If you can't find the symbol you want using Quick Select, go to the Tool Palette to find your symbol. Click on the palette and symbol of choice, then click and hold for a second or two to reveal all possible symbols available for that group. 
To change a beam group to flag notes, simply use the selector tool or the O key, highlight the group and hit the B key. To beam together a group of flag notes, just repeat the process. Flipping the stem of a group of notes is as simple as highlighting them, then hitting the S key. With the shift button down, we can adjust the shape of legatos or slurs by manipulating their bezier handles. Exporting fully formatted scores to other notation programs is necessary for many users. SmartScore is fully integrated with Finale, but to export scores to other notation programs such as Sibelius, go to the File menu and select Save and choose the Music XML as a format. For users of Finale, 2009 or later, Simply push the Send and Open in Finale button in the far right of the upper toolbar. The file is converted to Finale file format, and Finale opens with the score importing exactly as it appeared in SmartScore.